Okay, refractive index. So the values of sine i over sine r is called the refractive index. Huh? So this sine i over sine r, okay, it's given here actually. So sine i over sine r, this is called the refractive index. Huh? Refractive index. So when in exam they would like you to find the refractive index, that's what you should give. Huh? Okay, so that's refractive index. Important notes about the refractive index. Huh? In SPM, when we say refractive index, what we mean is the absolute refractive index of a substance. And the absolute refractive index of a substance is the refractive index where light ray travels from vacuums or air into the substance. Now, what does this mean? Huh? What does this mean? Now, let's say in the exam, okay, so they give you a questions and then they tell you that the refractive index n equal to 1.5 okay 1.5 so let's say this is a refractive index for glass huh? so we have a piece of glass okay we have a piece of glass and this is air now in SPM it's either they, they give you the air or the vacuum either one okay they won't give you like water to glass huh? okay water to glass or uh, glass to perspex that one is not in the syllabus uh, in the syllabus, there, there's, there's always vacuum to glass or air to glass. Okay. Now, when they tell you that the refractive index is 1.5, it means that it means that uh, when the light ray move from air, okay, move from air into the glass, into the glass, and uh, this is the incident ray, and this is the uh, sort of incident angles, and this is the angles of refractions. So then, so it means that your sine i over sine r equals to 1.5. How about, how about the questions is like this. Okay, let me copy this picture. Now for this one, let's say uh, it's almost the same, but the directions is not the same. The directions of the light ray changed. Okay, the directions of the light ray, let's say it changed. Uh, the light ray moved from glass, okay, moved from glass to the air. Okay, if it move from grass to the air, then this is the incident ray, right? This is the incident ray, and this is the refracted ray, and it's refracted away from the normal. So then this will be the I, right? This will be the I. This will be the R. Then you say, okay, so my refractive index is uh, sine I over sine R equals to 1.5. Right, okay, because this is given by the formula. But then you will find that this is wrong. Okay, you will find that this is wrong. Why? Why is this wrong? Okay, that is because in SPM, when it tell you that the refractive index is 1.5, this refractive index is the absolute refractive index. And absolute refractive index means that, means that, Okay, the light ray must move from air to the glass. Air to the glass. So, uh, even though the light ray moves from glass to air, okay, glass to air, okay, but if you, you want to use this as your refractive index, then you must assume that the I is in the air, okay, because for absolute refractive index, the, the, the light ray always move from air to the glass. So, you must change this, okay? So, you cannot use this as your R. Huh? You, cannot, you must use, always use the angles in the air as the I. And uh, use the angles in the other medium as the R, okay? Uh, then only you will get the correct answer. So, always remember that, huh? So, that is for absolute refractive index, okay? Example one, find the refractive index for the following objects. O following objects means this object, huh? this object. Okay. Okay, in this case, huh? what is the I? I equal to 50, yeah? I equals to 50 degree. And what's the R? Angles of refractions, what's the R? 25, yes, 25, huh? 25. Why? Because the angles must be measured from the normal. Okay, so this is 65, so this is 90 minus 65, uh, which is equal to 25. 
So then so the refractive index n equal to sine i over sine r. And your sine i, the i is 50. So sine 50 divided by sine uh, 25. By using your calculators, you should get the answer sine 50 over sine 25. Okay, 1.81. 1.81 okay so you see uh, all angle must be measured from the normal okay don't just pick the angles give you again straight away put inside okay you must always remember that the angle must be measured from the normal this is the normal so this angle so don't use this angle eh? okay so that is for uh, example 4a okay example 4b find the refractive index for the following object okay again what is your i and what's your R? Okay, what's the I? What's the angles of incidence? 60. No, it must be this one. Must be measured from the normal. 30. 30, yeah? 30 degree. And uh, angles of refraction? R? What's your R? 15, right? 15, eh? So this is angle, 15. Okay. N equals to sine I over sine R. Okay, which is equal to sine 30 divided by sine 15. So by using your calculator, sine 30 divided by sine 15, 1.93. Okay, 1.93. Now, refractive index has no unit, eh? it has no unit, so don't give units. Eh? This one, okay, the light ray is from uh, the object to the air, the object to the air, okay, this is 45 degree, this is 45 degree. So can you please tell me what's your eye? You see, this is the incident ray, okay, and this is a refracted ray. Now, usually, okay, usually if this is the incident ray, this is a refracted ray, then this should be the I and this should be the R. But, as I told you just now, when we talk about uh, refractive index in SPM, what we mean is the absolute refractive index. An absolute refractive index is always from, the, the light is always from air to the, the second medium. Okay, so therefore, the angles in the air must always be the I, so cannot use this as the I, okay? The I must be in the air, 60 degree. It must be this one. You cannot use this one as the I. And the R is 45. So, you see, cannot use this one. Even though this is incident ray, incident ray, suppose this is I, but because the refractive index is the absolute refractive index, so the I must be this one, okay? And equals to sine 60 over sine 45. Eh? So uh, sine 60 divided by sine 45. So therefore the answer is 1.22. Eh? 1.22. Okay. Now if you get your answer less than 1, let's say you get 0 0.89 something, okay, then it must be wrong, okay? Because absolute refractive index, eh, the value must always be higher than 1. So if you get your answer lower than one means it's wrong, okay, then it must be uh, check then you must check again. Have you used the wrong angle? I must be always in the air. Okay, in this case, what's the I? And what's the R? Okay? I first. What's the I? Twenty, yes. Twenty. Okay. This one is twenty degree. And the R is the R is ten degree. Ten degree, yeah. So again, eh? I is always in the air, the one in the air. So no matter what's the directions of the light ray, is from denser to less than medium or less than to denser medium, the I is always angles in the air. So uh, the refractive index N equal to sine I over sine R. Okay, I is 20, so it's sine 20 degree divided by sine R sine 10 degree okay so sine 20 divided by sine 10 1.97 so 1.97 okay so that's how we find the refractive index eh? 
okay, from diagram. So after example four, then we have this uh, refractive index and the speed of light. Okay, so um, we can also find the refractive index from the speed of light. The formula is like this, n equal to c over v. c is the speed of light in vacuum. Usually this will be given. Eh? Usually this will be given. It's 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 eh? meter per second. Uh, and then speed of light in medium, okay? Uh, usually, okay, if the refractive index given, they will ask you to find this. If this given, they will like you to find the refractive index. Eh? So we can use this to find the refractive index. And note that the greater the refractive index of a medium, the lower is the speed of light, and the more light is, the more light is slowed, and the more it is bent. So it means that if the refractive index is big, uh, the light will be bent more. Okay, the light will be bent more. So go to the notes. Huh? So refractive index and the speed of light. Refractive index equal to speed of light in vacuum divided by the speed of light in medium. Medium is like the water, uh, the air the glass, the perspex, or any uh, transparent or translucent object. Okay. Uh, in symbol, we write this as n equal to c over v. So the greater the refractive index, the more the change of the speed and the more the uh, angles of refractions. Try to do this. Okay. Okay, this answer, okay, 2.25 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Okay, this question is very direct. Okay, they give you the refractive index, they give you the speed of light in vacuum, and they want you to find the speed of light in water. Okay, so straight away use this formula, plug in all this value inside, and use your calculator. You should be able to find the answer.